We all know Queen Victoria of the United Kingdom who reigned for 63 years. She led the UK through a time of industrial, political, scientific and military change. At the peak of her reign she ruled over a quarter of the world and was crowned Empress of India. But did you know that the so-called mother of Europe had an half-sister? Here enters Princess Feodora of Leiningen. Theodora and Victoria shared the same mother, Princess Victoria of Saxe Coburg Saalfeld. Her father was Emmett Karl, Prince of Leiningen. Leiningen being a small municipality that was assigned to Prussia in 1815. She was born on December 7, 1807, in the then Kingdom of Bavaria. She was the second child to her parents, meaning Queen Victoria also had an older half brother, Karl. Theodora was described by her grandmother as a charming little clown. Her father died in 1814 when Theodora was only six years old. In 1818, her mother Victoria married one of King George III's sons, Prince Edward, Duke of Kent. And so in 1819, Theodora and her then pregnant mother moved to Britain since they wanted the potential heir to be born there. Shortly after the move, her younger half-sister Victoria was born. The Duke of Kent loved Theodora and Karl and treated them as his own. Unfortunately, Edward passed away in early 1820 and Theodora was devastated. Theodora later wrote to Victoria, I loved our father, I loved him dearly. Growing up, Theodora and Victoria enjoyed a close but isolated childhood at Kensington Palace. Theodora served as a role model for the young Victoria, hence the age difference of 12 years. However, Theodora, just like Victoria, was unhappy in the strictly ruled household with only a few other kids to play with. Theodora also shared Victoria's dislike of John Conroy, their mother's financial advisor and alleged lover. She even encouraged Victoria to assume greater independence from their mother's control as she got older. In 1828, Theodora married the Prince of Hohenlohe Langenburg, Ernest I, at Kensington Palace, with young Victoria being their bridesmaid. The marriage was arranged by Queen Adelaide of Great Britain, Queen Adelaide being the wife of the then King William IV and Ernest being Adelaide's first cousin. As the half-sister of the future Queen, Theodora could have married someone with a higher profile. Regardless of their age gap, Theodora considered Ernest to be kind and handsome. In fact, she was keen to be married in order to escape Kensington Palace. The couple moved back to Germany where they lived in Castle Langenburg. Theodora wrote to Victoria later, I escaped some years of imprisonment, which you, my poor dear sister, had to endure after I was married. Often have I praised to God that he sent me my dearest Ernst, for I might have married, I don't know whom, merely to get away. The two sisters reunited for the first time six years later when the couple visited at Kensington Palace. Upon her departure, Victoria wrote to her diary, I clasped her in my arms and kissed her and cried as if my heart would break. So did she, dearest sister. We went tore ourselves from each other in the deepest grief. I sobbed and cried most violently the whole morning. Theodora further maintained a lifelong correspondence with her half-sister and visited whenever she could. She was granted an allowance of 300 pounds every time she visited Britain. Theodora was also very active in charitable causes in Langenburg founding the Children's Rescue Center in 1830 to help poor and orphaned children, and in 1853, founding the Poor Preservation Institute for Children and the Sick. Theodora and Ernest went on to have six children, Carl, Elise, Herman, Victor, Adelaide and Theodora. All kids except Elise survived to adulthood. Elise died at age 19 of tuberculosis. The two sisters offered each other parenting advice, with Theodora advising leniency when Victoria complained that her son, the future Edward VII, was playing pranks on his siblings. Victoria named her youngest daughter Beatrice, Mary, Victoria, Theodore in her honor. Ernest died in 1860, and Theodora remained in Germany, despite Victoria wanting her to come back to Britain. With financial help from Queen Victoria, she moved to Baden-Baden, where she purchased a villa. In 1872, Theodora's youngest daughter died of scarlet fever. Theodora was inconsolable, writing to her diary, My lord, I will be pleased to let me soon depart. Theodora died later that year on September 23rd, most likely of cancer. Upon the news, Victoria wrote, Can I write it? My own darling, only sister, my dear excellent noble Theodora is no more. She's at rest and in peace since two this morning. What a fearful loss. Darling precious sister, whom I hoped so to go and see. 
I stand so alone now, no near and dear one near my own age or older to whom I could look up to lift. All, all gone. How good and wise beloved Theodore was, so devoted to me, so truly pious and religious. She's gone to that world she was so fit for and entered it, just sleeping away. What a blessed end. But what a loss to those who are left. She was my last near relative on equality with me, the last link with my childhood and youth. A letter dated back to 1854 was found among Theodora's belongings after her death. It was addressed to Victoria and stated, I can never thank you enough for all you have done for me, for your great love and tender affection. These feelings cannot die, they must and will live in my soul, until we meet again, near more to be separated, and you will not forget.